Between the two wars, the growing Nazi war machine took up rocket missilery in earnest. Despite early failures, the work went on. At a later date, with success theirs, German scientists frankly acknowledge their indebtedness to the pioneering of Dr. Goddard. In 1944, the new clenched fist struck. Down from the skies over England, it smashed. First the crude doodle bug, the V-1, then a perfected rocket with self-contained propellant and built-in guidance system. Bringing unprecedented death and destruction, the V-2 came perilously close to changing the outcome of the war. Fortunately for the Allied cause, the enemy bid for victory came too late. With Allied penetration deep into Nazi territory, opposition crumbled. Rocket bases were overrun. The end was in sight. The end came as Nazi surrender rang down the curtain of war in Europe. War in the Pacific would continue until our country unloosed its own Sunday punch. the secret of nuclear fission and our big fist grew even bigger. Within months the Japanese surrender brought an end to hostilities in the east. The war was over. Looking back upon the two new weapons unleashed during the conflict, men now returned to the ways of peace. We're again saying that the ultimate in artillery fire had been reached. Any future war was unthinkable. Fortunately for us, the leadership entrusted with our nation's defense may not permit itself such speculation. Within five short years of the war's end, Americans were again called upon to serve overseas.